um, in a minute that'll come up there we are we're on about 80 percent um, it won't be charging fully at the moment obviously because it's quite overcast but um, and raining and raining Hi guys, here again, getting the solar up and running hopefully, um, as you can see we've, what we've done, we've laid in three posts, they go down about four foot, um, we put a rail across the top, we've got the frame up there, we're just attaching the hinges to the framework, then what will happen is, hinges will sit on this, we'll fix it down, which will give us a pivot point so that we can tip that up and we'll put two corner posts in at the top end with two fixings, one for summer, one for winter so we can lift it up and down so we've always got the optimum angle for the solar panels so that's it, we'll let you know how we get on a bit later on as you can see uh, we've finally got the frame up for the solar panels hinged on the bottom support so that that means it's pinned to the post at the back there so all that means is we can take the pins out and raise it or lower it depending on whether it's winter sun summer sun um, just to get the optimum angle morning guys well here we are again solar gate <laughs> <laughs> so what i'm doing this morning is setting up all the controls for the solar array that, that we're putting in around the front um, we've got the batteries down here um, that's the power inverter 4000 watt power inverter so that should easily run the caravan that's the charge controller which keeps all the batteries in tip top condition and charging properly isolator switch which will be mounted next to that there right so the power comes in from the solar panels into the isolator switch out of the isolator switch into the charge controller from the charge controller down to the batteries and then you connect the other end of the batteries to the inverter and then you can connect up the power into the caravan or the house from these terminals either on a 13 amps plug or you can connect directly to the terminals there. Well, here we are at the front end of the solar panel array just in installing the panels into the framework that we've made um, once we've got these secured in we'll then take the wires up to the charge controller and the batteries and uh, fingers crossed free power. Hi guys well just threading these cables coming from the solar array uh, in some conduit so we can just bury it under the ground and the other end will go around and connect up to the um, charge controller um, battery bank so there you go it's on the solar is on although it's raining <laughs> Cool. Only we could put solar up and it rains. <laughs> Does it work with um, like just light? Yes. So it would be trickling a charge? It would be, yeah, but just not. So what we need it then is? Sunlight. Okay. <laughs> Can you do like a sun dance? <laughs> but there, there you go guys, it's all up and we're hooked up. Should we see if it works in the guys. It's up and running and working, as you can see, um, in a minute that'll come up, there we are, we're on about 80%, um, it won't be charging fully at the moment, obviously because it's quite overcast, but um, and raining. And raining. But we've got the power coming in here from the solar panels, isolation switch into the charge controller, um, down from the charge controller onto the batteries and then out of the batteries into the inverter 
out of the inverter, into the caravan. Ta-da! <laughs> we have light. We have light. So the kitchen has light. Run by solar. Off-grid solar. Fridge is on. Wonderful. Wow. That's it. That's amazing. How do you feel, Dave? Exhausted. <laughs> Stressed. <laughs> but we're off-grid. But we're off-grid. That's fantastic. Brilliant. And we have light. And we have power. Yay! <laughs> well done.